Hey you guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to do something super fun. I have a special guest with me, my very special little pup, Minnie. She is my little girl and we are now uh, even with the boys in the house. This is the only other girl that's in the house, so I gotta keep her happy. So we are going to make some special dog treats for her. The great thing about this is the ingredients are also safe for humans too, and treats make Minnie happy, which ultimately makes me happy. So Minnie, ready to do this? I think she's really gonna like these. I have always had dogs growing up and we had two dogs, Maggie and Miles. And the funny thing is, is we were going to get both of them fixed because we were like, we don't want any puppies around. And they must have known because they got together and Maggie got pregnant. I came home and saw all these adorable puppies, but Minnie was special. She was really little. She was the runt of the litter, which is where she got her name. I just remember coming home and looking at her and how small she was and going, oh, I'm in trouble. You're not, you're not leaving. You're gonna, you're gonna stay here. So I've had her with me ever since. What I'm doing first is I am grating half a cup of carrots and I'm gonna use two small carrots. Carrots, carrots, I like carrots. Apples also work as well. Be very careful when you're grating to not get your fingers because you can get great happy and all of a sudden you're not paying attention. So just make sure you're paying attention when you do this. Who are you barking at? I'm adding the grated carrot to two cups of oat flour and then I'm also adding a quarter cup of whole rolled oats as well. Oat flour is great for dogs that have an allergy. Okay, just kidding, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, there's no one there. It's really simple to make, you can actually make it at home. You take rolled oats, you put it in your blender, and blend it until it's fine, and then you have your oat flour. Super simple. Now I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of all natural peanut butter, which is really important to remember because there are a lot of peanut butters that have um, added sugars and also like the sugar substitutes like xylitol. I've heard that xylitol can be fatal for dogs. You smell it? Yeah, you smell it already? So make sure you're looking for the all natural peanut butter and you can tell the difference because there's a lot of oil at the top of it. La, 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 la. So now I'm putting in a quarter of a cup of sweet potato puree. You can also use pumpkin if you'd like. I personally love sweet potatoes, so I think Minnie will love them as well. I'm gonna take my rings off because I'm gonna get my hands a little bit dirty here and mix it all together. Minnie as a puppy was really weird and that's what I loved about her because I'm weird. She had wiry fur when she was a puppy. Not like what it looks like now, but it was just like all over the place, wiry, crazy. She also loved to like crawl under things and hide and like play hide and seek. Now, Minnie does this thing where if we've been gone all day or we've been working or whatever's been happening, we come home and we look at her and if we just stop like this, we can chase her and she goes, and then she starts running and it's called like the zoomies where they kind of like tuck their butt under and then they <laughs> run around really fast and she does that. Dana actually taught Minnie how to sit out of the seven years that I've had this dog, I was never able to teach her how to sit. Dana just busted the myth that you can't teach an old dog new tricks because she just learned and she's seven and a half years old. Thanks, babe. Next, I'm gonna put the dough in between two pieces of parchment paper. That way, it doesn't get stuck to the rolling pin because the dough is a little bit sticky. Before I roll it out, I'm just going to flatten the dough into a disc. The parchment paper helps keep it together and flat as well. Minnie is super attached to me, but she does love Dana. She really does. When DJ was born, I was so focused on the baby that Dana and her really formed a bond because they were together while I was with the baby. <laughs> She was very excited about it. We put the car seat down so she could see what was in it because she didn't know what was going on. And she just looked and now she's always watching where DJ is from the side and she will come up and say hello to him. You see Mimi? <gasps> yeah, yeah. He gets but really you excited. Love, you love him. You're okay. Gentle, gentle, <laughs> gentle. Good job. Look. 
It's okay, Just buddy. Say bye bye, it's okay. Poo, 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 poo. And I'm gonna cut this out into little heart shapes, but if you have any other cookie cutter shapes that you like, you can use those as well. I like this one because it's small for Minnie because she's she's a little bit dainty. Um, but if you have a bigger dog, a bigger cookie cutter could work as well so you get some bigger treats. And then I'm going to put it into the oven at 325 for 20 minutes. Minnie sleeps on the couch. <laughs> she sleeps on the couch right now. I have a little dog bed for her, but she shared it with Miles, who was her dad. He passed away in December, and she's kind of been, it's almost like she's been weaning herself off of that bed for a while. So she sleeps on the couch now, and she's in the same spot every morning, and she comes in and gets us if she has to use the bathroom. <laughs> Dane and I have been discussing getting another dog. I think that all kids should have a dog to grow up with. And even though Minnie loves DJ and DJ like lights up when he sees her, I think to be able to have a puppy and him to grow up together, I think that would be a great thing. Now that they're all done, I'm going to let these cool uh, until they're room temperature. Put them into an airtight container and that should keep them good and fresh until Minnie would like a treat. I love the idea of making homemade dog treats because there are so many dog parents. There are dog moms and dog dads everywhere that really, really care for their animals. And so it could be a nice gesture um, to give to your friends. I think she likes them. See, us girls gotta stick together, right? Right? I don't know, I think she's thinking about it, but it's all right. If there's any other mini themed treats you guys can think of, let me know. I would love to try them out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week. Who's that, Minnie? Who's that? Go get it. Yeah, go get it.